When you search Google for the best photography website builders, you find a lot of fluff and nonsense. So when I sat down to find the best photography website builder, I knew I didn't want to contribute to the fluff and the nonsense. I wanted to do it right. So here's what I did. I talked to 1,630 real life verified users of photography website builders, and I asked them one simple question. Do you recommend the photography website builder that you're currently using? I used their responses to calculate a customer satisfaction rating. No need to pause the video while I'm showing this chart. Uh, you can find the ratings in the video description below as well. Now, when you look at this chart, you might be wondering, where's Wix and Squarespace? Well, Wix and Squarespace are what I call general website builders, which mean they can build a variety of websites, not just photography websites. Photography website builders are not general website builders. Instead, they're meant specifically for building photography websites. And that's important because photography websites have pretty specific needs. For starters, photography websites need a website theme that showcases visuals. Photography websites shouldn't have a lot going on. They need white space to frame photos and to draw the visitor's eye. Many photographers also use their website for client proofing. Uh, client proofing, if you're unfamiliar, is basically sending private photo albums to clients that let them view or download the images. Many photography website builders include proofing features. One last thing before I dive into the list. Why is WordPress not on this list? Well, WordPress isn't a website builder. It's a content management system or CMS. Website builders and CMSs both build websites, but they have differences. For example, a website builder will host your website for you, so you never have to worry about hosting. A CMS like WordPress requires you to set up a web host, which can be tricky. Now, the upside to using a CMS and setting up your own web host uh, is that you can move your website. So you can move your WordPress website between hosts. Whereas your website on a website builder always has to be hosted by that same website builder. So let's take a closer look at the results. I'm not gonna go through each company individually. Instead, I'll do the first two and the last two. I'm hoping that gives you a sense of the range. There's a link to the full guide in the video description if you wanna go more in depth. The number one rated photography website builder is Format. I talked to 116 users and 97% of them recommended Format, which is a really high customer satisfaction rating. So this company has a lot of happy users. Users mostly mentioned ease of use, price, and strong templates. I would 100% recommend easy to use, cheap pricing, and lots of choices for layouts, depending on what you want. I believe it comes off very professional. I really like format. It's easy to use and looks good, and it's pretty inexpensive for what you get. I definitely recommend it. I would recommend it. It's simple to use, looks great, and editing is easy and it's cheap. Number two on the list was Portfolio Box. Now I talked to 204 users and 95% of them recommended it. One thing users talked about was how responsive the Portfolio Box support team was. I like the service and quick tech support I've received from Portfolio Box. I would recommend it. I'm a very proud user of Portfolio Box in six years now and I recommend it to a lot of my friends. My favorite part is they reach out to me personally for suggestions. One of the founders emailed me when they were adding new features and asked if there was anything I'd like them to add. Now let's jump to the two photography website builders that had the lowest customer satisfaction. Second last is Viewbook. I talked to 176 Viewbook users and 83% of them recommended it. The users who didn't recommend it mostly mentioned that it lacked customization and had grown stale in recent years. It was great when I built my website quite a few years ago, but is quite limiting compared to others out there now. I would not recommend it. It can be kind of hard to navigate things and the help that you get when you contact them can take a while. I like the clean look, but wish it had more options to tweak and adjust the pages. I talked to 59 photo shelter users and 80% of them recommended it, which is the lowest customer satisfaction of any photography build, website builder I looked at. Photo shelter has been around since 2005 and users who didn't recommend it mostly complained that it was getting outdated. I've been a bit concerned in the past two to three years about the lack of development of the platform. I've been using photo shelter for about eight years now. It used to be excellent, but they haven't upgraded their portfolio templates for a long time. I've been complaining to them about this for at least two years now, and they just haven't done anything new. The thing that has mostly disappointed me is that there has not been many updates. 
If you'd like to see the results of all 16 portfolio builders, check out the complete guide in the description below. You can use that guide to search through every single user review I got. It's helpful for finding out about details like SEO. You can also find links to each portfolio builder in the description below. Let me conclude with a caveat. There are definitely good photography website builders and bad photography website builders. But remember that it's possible to create a good website with a bad website builder. And it's equally possible to build a bad website with a good website builder. So don't get decision fatigue. Choose one that seems right and see how far it can take you. Most offer a free trial and you'll learn more by trying than by watching another video. Let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these photography website builders before. And if so, tell me what you thought of them.